The fourth accused in the disappearance of six-year-old Jocelyn Smith is expected back in the Friedenberg Magistrates Court in the Western Cape come the 13th of May. 32-year-old uh, Laurentia Lombard abandoned her bail application when she made a second appearance in court this morning. Now, she's been remanded in custody. Now, SABC, New Report, SABC News report, I beg your pardon. Corbin August has more. Thank you and to the viewers at home. Of course, we are still here at the Friedenberg Magistrates Court on the West Coast. And a fourth accused, uh, who's uh, been accused in the matter of the disappearance of six-year-old Jocelyn Smith from Saldana. The fourth person accused, Laurentia Lombard, has made her second court appearance here at the Friedenberg Magistrates Court today. Uh, she's been charged with uh, kidnapping and uh, human trafficking. Uh, the, the case uh, of Laurentia Lombard has in fact now been postponed to the 13th of May for further investigation and in order for her to appear alongside uh, three other co-accused who are already uh, in custody and have already been uh, arrested in connection with the disappearance of little uh, Jocelyn Smith. Uh, the three other accused include uh, Jocelyn Smith's mother, Kelly Smith, and two others. So uh, for now, the four of them will be uh, back in court, all together facing the same charges on the 13th of May. But we are joined now by the spokesperson for the National Prosecuting Authority, uh, Eric Ntaba Zalila, just to give us a, a bit more uh, of an update on what transpired in court du during today's court proceedings. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Opportunity. So, um, Eric, let's just start with uh, what transpired today in court. Yes, we can confirm that uh, Ms. Laurentia Lombard did appear in court this morning. Uh, her appearance was for bail information, but she has indicated to her lawyers that she's abandoning her right to apply for bail at this stage. And the case has been postponed to the 13th of May for her to join the other three accused and for further investigation. Uh, if, if she does apply for bail, we will oppose bail because it's a Schedule 6 uh, case and we don't think it's in the interest of her to, it's in the interest of justice for her to be released on bail. Eric, perhaps just once again, can you confirm the charges that she and, and the others are facing? They are all charged with trafficking in persons for exploitation as well as kidnapping. Those are the charges that we have at this stage. Uh, more charges are likely to come up uh, depending on the outcome of the investigation as the investigation is still continuing. Okay. Any indication on, on regarding whether or not the case will be moved to other court? Uh, no, not at this stage. It's still too early uh, to decide on that. Uh, what's likely to happen if it moves, it may move to the regional court here, but at the moment we're still at the district court. Okay, so for now what we have is the postponement until the 13th of May for the next appearance? Yes, for her to join her co-accused and for the case to, for further investigation. Okay, perfect. Eric Ntabazalila, thank you so much for taking thank the so time much. to talk to us. Well, that was indeed the spokesperson for the NPA, Eric Ntabazalila, also just uh, giving us an update of what transpired during court proceedings here at the Friedenberg Magistrates Court today when the fourth accused in the matter of the disappearance of Jocelyn Smith made a second appearance here at court today. Of course, her matter has been postponed now to the 13th of May for further investigation. And on the 13th of May, she will be joined by three other co-accused in the matter, including a little Jocelyn Smith's mother, Kelly Smith. And they will all be joined in the dock facing charges uh, of human trafficking and kidnapping. Of course, uh, Laurentia Lombard, the 31-year-old accused who appeared today, she abandoned her bail application. And the NPA says that uh, moving on, at, even if the, the accused, any of them do apply for bail at the later stage, they will be opposing any bail application. Corbin August there, live to us there, or rather uh, giving us that update from the Friedenberg Magistrates Court.